shoved it in the meatball before I left. Hey everybody, Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, back again. Do I look orange or is this Tiffany? I'm on Tiffany's phone. I'm going to wait for some of you to jump on. I have Debbie behind yeah. me. Say hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi. It's Debbie Harrington, one of our amazing adopters slash supporters slash volunteers. Um, I just wanted to do this quick video. So let's just wait for a few more of you to jump on. Let's go get another meatball. Tiffany's getting meatballs and meatballs and meatballs for Senna. Happy Saturday. Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm clear. Fantastic. Okay. So, hi, Mabel. Thank you, Charlotte. Don't feel it, but thank you. Hello, Deltona. Morning. Morning. What time is it? Love you back. Love you back. Hello, New Jersey. Hello, Fort Pierce. Happy Saturday. Hi again. I am talking to you and I am wasting time, um, which is nice because I get to engage with all of you while I wait for some more people to jump on. Love you more, Nana. Grandma, grandma, grandma. Best foster mommy we ever had in the entire world is Christine Call. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Hello, Francis. Okay, what do we have here? 176. Thank you, Allison, and thank you for your support as always. Hello, Kentucky. Oh, I gave it away because that's right. I'm like, they're probably all guessing why I'm doing this video. And Tiffany, I asked her, <laughs> I asked Tiffany to put a heading on the video. I'm thinking they don't know why I'm doing this video. Oh, my bad, my bad. No surprises ever, right? Okay, so let me just say, now that you know why I'm doing this video, um, I received a call from Chewy. Chewy is an amazing company. Um, we order a lot of our um, supplies, uh, food, whatever, uh, through Chewy. And um, as also as Waruva. We love our Waruva and our wonderful Stacy. Um, that company is off the chart. They have donated, pff, I can't even tell you, thousands and thousands and thousands of pallets of food. Um, basically, we feed all of our rescues on dry Waruva. So now, um, Christine says, love me some Chewy.com. So the reason that I'm doing this video, I received a call from Chewy. And they, we had a beautiful conversation. I can't remember the woman's name off the top of my head. Please, please forgive me. Um, I don't. I write things down, but I own little pieces of paper, and it's at home. And I'm at the rescue house. This is my second home. So I received the call from a wonderful woman from Chewy uh, yesterday morning, and she said, "Amy, um, we want to do something special for your organization, uh, 100 plus, for all that you have done for Zora." and um, for her mom. So first of all, um, she asked what we needed and I said, um, of course we need food. Um, all of you that have donated not that long ago, we had cases and cases and boxes of our Neutro Chicken Pate, uh, which seems to be the food for our dogs that keeps their bellies good and along with Waruva Chicken Wet. Those are the pretty much the only foods that we feed our dogs, um, sometimes some miscellaneous, but it's the only thing that does not cause them to have upset bellies and diarrhea. So we try to keep it the same. Um, we've gone through a lot of food. So uh, we, I told her what we want, what we need, and, and what food we feed. Uh, and with that being said, she said she was going to do her very, very best to send us anything and everything that she could. So first of all, I already told Wanda, Zora's mom, that this came for her this morning. How sweet is this? Uh, they sent this beautiful flower arrangement, uh, 100 plus abandoned dogs, a, attention, Wanda Ferrari, um, for Wanda, Zora's mom, to brighten her day. I thought that was so thoughtful. You know, when you see such horrible things in the world every single day and humanity just lets you down every second of the day, um, it's just those little things, like the people like, like this, 
um, and you know the kindness that shines through all the evil um, that that basically rest restores your faith in humanity um, so things like that um, along with you know so many people that are reaching out I did a video this morning and people were saying they wanted to help Wanda I put up um, our email address and I will tell you all of those people that commented and said they wanted to I received not one person that reached out to help Wanda so please I don't know what's happening um, but nobody has reached out and offered any assistance for Wanda we're trying to do the best we can um, for her to just get her settled that's that's it we're not collecting money um, we are going to set her up in a hotel um, a clean um, affordable hotel and just a place where she can rest her head so that's this is all about Zora Wanda and 100 plus um, you can go in um, and then on top of that we received Tiffany already broke it down and emptied them out thank you Tiffany um, all these boxes were full with the wet food uh, so I'm gonna show you hold on so this is what they sent to us all these cans that's the yellow is the Waruva and then of course you've got um, all this Nutro wet so all of this right here was donated from Chewy.com. Chewy, thank you. You have no idea how much this means to our organization. You have no idea. So we thank you um, from the bottom of our hearts. Um, you know, something I wish more companies would be so generous um, and give back. I, I will tell you that I have been scrambling. I have been calling local hotels like La Quinta, the Marriott, um, and telling them the story of Zora, and they've seen it. They've seen it on the news, and I'm asking for assistance. Um, you know, not nothing free, just asking for a discounted or anything that they can do to help us out to try to get her um, in a place, and nothing. It's very sad to me. Not one per, and you know me, I'm persistent. I don't let up easy. So, um, nothing, no help or offers to help, which makes me sad. It makes me sad. Um, there certainly has to be a hotel in the area of Fort Lauderdale that can donate or do a reduced rate um, for Wanda. But this is why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to do this video for Chewy, saying, Thank you from the bottom of our hearts um, for donating all this much needed food. And what happens when the food is donated, it allows our rescue to take the funds that we would purchase the food um, and put it towards other needs, such as medical and rescue. So Chewy, from my heart, this is Amy. I am the president and founder of 100 Plus, my amazing team, my supporters, my friends, my volunteers, my adopters, everybody that's watching, over 259,000 amazing supporters on this page. So um, that says a lot to me. It says to me that we're doing a lot, not something that we're doing a lot right. So again, all I can say is thank you. So grateful. This is Amy with 100 plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Um, thanking Chewy for your generosity. It does not go unnoticed or unappreciated. Uh, just before I sign off, get a little sneak peek. Tiffany's in there with Miss Senna and coddling her in her arms and petting her. And this is what we do, 24, literally. Tiffany got here at 7.30, um, our wonderful my dearest friend Leslie, who I adore, uh, she has adopted, she's part of our team. Uh, she slept here last night. She slept on that couch and she was up. She had two hours of sleep and she was here with Senna all night long, just touching her, loving her, comforting her. So there's our little Senna. And let's see, our wonderful volunteer. Debbie Harrington is visiting with Tommy's in the house. Hi, Tommy. Chill. You're so chill, Tommy. <laughs> Say, but I do have a personality, Debbie. I really do. Tommy.
Tommy 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 He likes when I dance. Tommy 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 Yay Tommy Yay Tommy He gets excited, right Tommy? You get excited when I dance? Tell everybody. What do you know how to sit? Do you? Sit at the sit at the sit at the sit. You don't sit. Say, why would I know how to sit, Amy? I lived outside. I was in the backyard of somebody's house. Nobody loved me. Nobody cared for me. I'm heartworm positive and I'm not neutered. So I don't know how to sit, Amy. Only when I want to, not when you tell me. Are you perfect? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smile, smile, smile? I smile, smile. What? What? He's afraid of toys. Oh, He's afraid of squeaky. Are you afraid of squeaky? Oh, no. Are you afraid of squeaky squeaks? What? Are you gorgeous? Yes, you are. You're so perfect. I love this boy. I love this boy. He's smiling. We rescued Tommy from the Miami Dade 100, uh, 100 plus rescued partnership through uh, the Miami Dade shelter. Um, and he was sitting the video that was circulating on social media just basically went freaking viral um he was shaking and trembling he would not lift his head he would not move he was paralyzed shaking and trembling and we busted him out and he's uh under our care now and we're going to get him neutered once he finishes his heartworm treatment right tom uh so we started him on the doxycycline and <laughs> he's amazing and then um, once that, we'll start the, uh, we're deciding we'll do the injections. Uh, we'll talk to our doctor. We still need to do a chest x-ray um, on his heart to see how advanced. But um, we'll find out all the details and we will follow through with our beautiful sweet Tommy until he's 100% and we find him the perfect forever loving home. He is so easy, you guys. He's so chill. He's had one accident in this room. One. And it's a brand new Tommy. You watching TV? So this is what we want with, we, we ask. Our volunteers are so much needed. Um, just to come here and sit and rub and talk and get these dogs that are so desperate in need of love and affection. It, right? It brings them totally, you know. Deb, you've seen it. You rescued one. You've seen it a million times. Deb rescued one of the worst. Callie, who was all mange. She had scabies, right? And she, she had no hair, nipples, emaciated, and a litter of puppies. Sucking the life, nine puppies out of her. And now... Awesome. Do you have your phone on you? I don't. No, okay. Oh, well, I wish I did. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. she's so gorgeous. And she's back. super dog friendly. Oh my god. You fostered for us There's before too, so we know she's dog friendly. Perfection. That dog, I, she never, ever, ever, ever has had an accident. No accidents, imagine that. Not anything from day one. It's amazing. So this is exactly, well, Darla's on here. Hello, Miss Darla. Happy Saturday. Uh, Darla is an amazing asset to 100 plus. She has given countless hours, love and time and adopted two of our dogs as well. And every time Darla comes into the rescue house, which is a guaranteed uh, three days a week and nights, she does night shifts um, to cover rescue house one with our wonderful Laura. Uh, they tag team and they have fun. They love it. And Darla adopted two dogs from us. Well, Darla right now is dog sitting our Brownie and Chip. Lucky you, Miss Darla. I want to see lots of photos. Um, you are so lucky to be with those two babies. You can come in. Who is it? Oh, did Jan bring those? Oh. <laughs> And Auntie Jan, Francis's mommy, made homemade meatballs. All healthy. For Santa and Tommy. For Santa and Tommy to put some weight on. Tell me we don't have the best 100 plus team. When people ask me, how many volunteers do you have? I can't even count. It's endless. And I consider, you know, the, the supporters... Uh, volunteers basically because there's nothing we could do without all of you nothing 
You know, I know you can't be here because of the distance, um, but I don't want you to think for one second just because you can't um, that we you are you are not part of our family because we're nothing without all of you. It takes a freaking army, a village, whatever you want to call it, um, and that's why we're able to do what we do on a daily basis. Dogs in, dogs out, dogs in, dogs out. We are almost at 100 dogs at House 2, and we opened April 14th with only seven rooms. You should see it now. There's pens. I just Carol just left, and I'm like, all the seniors are in their pens. And I'm like, Carol, it's like a senior sanctuary in here. I'm like, if one more person tags me on another dog in need, it is not happening. There are no more dogs coming into 100 plus until we move some. I'm sad to say it is killing me because I want to continue, but we are out of room. So for all of you that are watching that may be local and want to get involved, foster, 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 foster. If you say yes and you're approved, that means we can say yes to another dog in need until it gets adopted. Tapped out. What'd you say, Tiff? We are tapped out over there. Can you tell? Look at her. Does she look tapped? <laughs> we're all on no sleep, and um, we're running on fumes here. I can't wait to get home and take a nice hot bath and relax a little bit with my dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. You're off tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. You can catch up. Yeah. So we have a good 24 hours. Yeah. All right, everybody, with all this being said, we love you, we appreciate you, and Chewy, you rock. Thank you so much from us, 100 plus, to you. So grateful. Have a great rest of the day, everybody.